they were they were decided before they went back, filled out their papers, and came out. That's not uh, a deliberation. They, they, they looked at a couple of things. Uh, God only knows. They probably ate for an hour. And they talked about some stuff. Went through this paperwork, filled it out. Because they went, they went all the way to like I guess one thirty with the opening stuff. And they probably they took lunch or two stuff. Yeah. They didn't deliberate. They did nothing. They did absolutely nothing. Like that. Hey, so they went, when they came in and, they, and I saw their, when they came in this morning and nobody looked at me, I knew we had already made up the lot. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I wish I was like that. Sort of Dan, like, did a, Dan did a great job. You spoke well. They listen to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. They, they, they cut and pasted emails. They cut and pasted lines from text messages that and gave gave their own meaning. You know, like oh, kitty face. Oh, like I saw what they said. Oh, it's a mistake. Yeah. Like it's nothing. It was like, I don't know. It was like they put like they dressed it up into something it wasn't. They just. I just, I'm, no, I'm in shock. I'm partly in shock, partly not surprised, partly just certain things that I don't want to go into, but I just wish I went with my gut instinct. I got it, they put it on. It was, I wish I would go with my gut more. Like, You guys take care of yourself. I mean, I'm not saying that you guys getting sick out there. One more thing on my head. Yeah, no. I don't really have. I don't have much. You know, I, got, I know. I don't really have much life anymore. So it was something happened to you guys. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll be we'll be fine. We'll stay tough for you, Charlie. We'll stay tough. Yeah, um, Don't listen. They just go. They just do. 
They don't listen. Someone like George Gatlin who makes it real simple for them. <laughs> she had no evidence. She had nothing. No. Well, they, 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 had, they, had, they had emails. Look at the emails. Oh, look at the emails. Which is, you no, know, emails that never mentions anything about about I, danger uh, and violence. Uh, uh, I, I know it's not how they're going to get nominated for the use of the paint, the different things. The paint, the paint. It's on Jesus Christ. They made a deal about me calling the home phone line in 1979. Like, you only lived there for three months in 2014. So you're only there 90 days in 14. They were going to start going to 16. Well, yes, yeah, because the house was sold in 15. And you were thinking, you're only there 90 days. I mean, there's nothing special about calling my home phone. But they put up a pie chart. Looks that made it look like there was something very suspicious about calling you at home. It's just so, okay. they painted they painted a picture without evidence. That's what they did. Yeah. yeah. They literally they had a theory. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anymore. Yeah, but there's no point. There's no point right now. Even though this is a call you all land line. Yeah. I know. All right. So it's only for the same that they moved me over to E1 because when you get convicted, I'm not aware. Say that again. They're moving you? No, they already did it. When I came back to the jail, I had to roll up my stuff and they moved me to E1. And so what they, is that? They let, me, they let me keep my clothes. They, I'm not in my regular cell anymore. They have to switch my cell. Is it your own cell? Yeah, it's my own cell, but it's got a on the wall and shit on the ceiling. I can't see the mirror. It's glass. It's got a video camera. People fucking screaming. I know. I hear. And I'm just like in my little cell, like in the solitary green cell. With uh, the lights on, I can't see out. Like I said, the officer put me in here. I'm like, listen, I'm not suicidal. But I guess whenever you're convicted, stuff, they put them in one of these for observation. Chief of the prison and come talk to me tomorrow. They have a terrorist and come talk to me tomorrow. Um, it's, uh, they're, they're, I'm talking about the side one. I can't leave me in here that long. Like, you know, they may get me with a phone here. They may get me with a phone here. They may get me with a Cautionary thing. Yeah. Um. Oh, gosh. I should say, Not even believable.
I love you, Charlie. I love you, Charlie. I love you. I love you. Get through tonight and get please. through tomorrow and, and just call us anytime, please, okay? Yeah, no, let's take something to be learning about having a heart attack tonight, okay? Okay. okay. I, love you. I love you guys a lot, okay? I love you, Charlie. I love you, Charlie. I love you. I love you. I love you. understand, like, I. Just take care of Roman for me. We keep an eye you out know, for him. You know I will. We will. We will. And that's Charlie. That's By the way, I, I wrote Ben like a month ago. He never wrote me back. I'll find out. Yeah. I'll let it know. Know. Yeah. No, no, no. How's, how's Wendy doing? I can't talk to her. I don't know. I don't know. You don't talk to her? I did not talk to her. I can't do it. I can't talk to anybody else but you. Yeah. Listen, I love you. I love you guys a lot. Okay. Everything's everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be strong. I know you will. Dan's gonna look out for me. They're gonna try to. I already told them to don't don't harass them about it because I've already spoken to them since twice, and they said they're definitely gonna look into it and do what they can. Exactly. I know. I, I know. Say that again. Yeah, about the protective, uh, trying to get me into the protective management. Right. The on the case. Right. And, uh, look, I just don't, I don't want you guys, I, mean, I know you're upset, and I just don't want you guys getting sick over that. But we will. You just be strong, okay? And it will be fine. Yeah, yeah. you're strong. I've been dealing with this for, for how many years now? You know, it's like. I know. Now you, you get what I mean. I just I haven't been myself. I, I, listen, for, for me, for how many years? I like. For how many years that I had, like, it was hard to be normal with everything going on. Like, I know. You know, and I still try to work, and it still works. So, like, like, I don't think it's nobody ever got what was going on in my head. No, they know that. Nobody, nobody, nobody ever knew. But I like, I always have, I always have like the, I always, like I said, I always have a feeling. No, I know that. I remember, honest to God, I remember the last time that we all went to the douche for Rome and we were taking video. You don't really want to know what was that was taking in my head. Mm. We'll take care of Roman, but just hang we'll in there. Care, right? Okay. Yeah. Hang in there, Charles. I'm good. No, no, listen. I woke up today in, in jail and going to bed in jail, nothing changed for me. You know, unfortunately, we didn't win. I don't even say it's a full shock. I'm still, honestly, like, I know. I cried a little bit when they got in the cell, but I'm like, I'm still. You're strong. Yeah, it's set in, but it hasn't set in. and it just, Of course not. It doesn't feel real. And I just, it's almost like, if it makes any sense, it feels like it's no different than it was yesterday. It's in the same cell. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's like a fucking it's like my worst fucking nightmare to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know, Charlie. I know. It's for all of us. It's for all of us, Charlie. It is for all of us. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. Charlie. Hey. Hey, Dad, how are you? How are you? Okay. I'm all right. Where, where are you? Are you still in that cell? Yeah, yeah, I'm still in here. So the chief's going to see me at some point today, and whenever he comes through, and then supposedly Dan's going to come to the jail, and I asked them, they said, when your attorneys get here, they'll take you out to see them. I'm sure I'll see them behind glass. I thought, Dan, I didn't know that 
Dan went. I didn't know if he went home or not yesterday. No, no, no. He's, he's driving. He's driving home today. Okay. Okay. So they will let you see him today. Yeah, but I mean, it's going to be behind glass. I'm going to be picking up a phone, talking to him through a sheet of glass. So, did you get sleep last night? Yeah, on and off. I mean, they got the lights on. It's bright in here. It's like a. Yeah. I just wanted to call and say hi. I guess I just wanted, I don't even know why. No, oh, that's okay. I'm just glad that's you right. did it. I was actually just talking to Dan, so it's not like we were sleeping. Yeah. But uh, you, you were talking to Dad or Dan? Dan. Dan. It's cold. Yeah, but um, I'm going to have to talk when we have a moment about things that we need to take care of, okay? Yeah, I know there's money and stuff like that. Uh, I got you. Roman. Roman. And I have things I need to take care of for Roman and, and um, you know, ways that we can take care of him and help him. So there's that, which is the most important. And then <laughs> <laughs> and figuring out about the dog. So <laughs> got to take care of things, Shirley. We got to take <laughs> it's like I'm dead. I mean, I hate to tell you this, but it ain't a whole lot different. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know. Please, I know. Listen to everybody. Uh, <laughs> you got no idea. No, I know. You got, you got no you fucking idea. idea. That's all I got to say. Charlie, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I love you. I love you, look. Maybe something will happen. Maybe yeah. this mistrial will take place and get a different let's venue. Just, let's let's just, hope for that. Let's just see. Let's just see. Okay. Just I know we got to talk about Roman and the dog and the house and everything. Like I'm gone. And you. And you. And you. You. That's you most of all. You. That's you. Please. Please. No, it's not over. It's not over. No, it's no. not over. No, we'll Please. Jolly. We'll try everything. We'll try everything. No, I, I got you. Let me say. What's I don't know. Do you know what he, I, time he's coming? Or, I think he said if I don't see him by 11, that means he couldn't get into TV, so he's on the road. So I'm sure it's probably 9 or 10 is when he'll come by. Okay. Well, I'll get back on the phone with him. You give me 15 minutes and call back. I'll have a better idea of what's going on. Okay? Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be fine. I mean, listen, I don't want to say anything to Roman because he's at a point now where he's he's asking for me every time I get on the phone with him. I know. No, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say anything to Roman. No, I'm just no. talking about how what things we're gonna do to, to take care of him. Yeah. No, I I, I I got you. It's just I want to see my kid grow up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Charlie, oh. Oh. I still think there's hope. Please, 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 please Charlie. Just think there could be a chance here, please, and we're going to work on it, okay? Yeah. No, I got it. You guys, I, don't don't get too upset when you get yourself sick. Charlie, we're fine. We're okay. We're, we'll we're gonna see okay. what we can do. As long as we can, as long as we can talk to you, please. We're gonna see when we can see you. Okay. Please, yeah, we'll we'll do everything we can. Everything. Yeah, no, guys, I got, I got you. I mean, I don't want to talk about the case on the phone at all. 
but to say one thing I don't want to do is talk about the case at all. And I don't want them to be too upset because if I'm too upset, they're going to they're gonna no, keep, no, me, keep me in the no. box. Yeah, no, let's, let's do that. Let's yeah. not do that. No, I'm not. Right. But I'm just saying. Yeah, I'll I'm call Dan back. Yeah. Call, us, call us in about 15 minutes. Give us 15 minutes. minutes. Let me okay. talk to Dan, okay, honey? Yeah, talk to him for like 20 minutes. I'll call you back. I'm going to get great right. ball for a minute. Oh, perfect. Okay. Bye. Okay. 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 Bye. Conversation now. Hey, yeah, sorry about that. Little, no, last thing I heard was you said, and the chief, and then it, it just went down. Uh, he was supposed to buy, he's the same guy who always said he was going to call Dan back when I first got here and never called him back. Mm. But Chief's back, like, he's the chief of the whole jail. So come by and check me out. So he has, not, he has not been there yet? He has not, but the psychologist PhD, yeah. whatever she is. Yeah. Um, she came by, and I said, Listen, I'm fine. I just, I'm getting caught in the moment. Like, sure. Like, just looking outside of a window, you know, you just out into the pod, and this is like, you're, you're sitting in like a, it's a block. One, yeah, like a same type of style that I had before, but I just look out the window into the pod. Here, it's like, a box. Yeah. So it's, you can't see it. It's a, it's a mirror they can see in and you can't see out. Is it any help? Like, can, can Dan get this guy to come sooner? Is that the no, any help? God, she, no, no. She's back once the fucking jail. Yeah, I don't care about what you're calling. No. Right, no. It'll come slower. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm sure you, I'm sure the psychologist thought you were fine, so. It's just a matter of waiting for that and, and waiting for the chief. Yes, yes, yes. I heard it for and then, you know, it's fall and maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. I got 33% of my family. Oh, well. It's in the afternoon. It's okay. It would fit the 15%. So if you switch the little battery saver on, and then I can, I can probably get okay. that. Right? It's like, you know, you just isolate. Like, I'm used to being able to talk to yeah. people who are around. Of course. Yeah, and myself. It's like, yeah. you're, you're doing the complete opposite of what I would need to have done to me. Right. In this situation. Right. Like, I know. But the, all right. It sounds like if it's not today, they'll do it tomorrow, you know, but hopefully today. But then I'm yeah. in a rush, Charlie. You know, you're in a rush. Yeah. I'm in a rush. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's, it's bad enough all this happened, and now I'm, like, taking it out of my normal surroundings and, like... I know. Going into, uh... Going into, like, a solitary... Like, I mean, I get why, too. But this is, like... You know, it's... Trust me, it's just a, a bed on a... On, like, a plastic box. Like, I rolled up my mattress from upstairs and brought it down to here, and it's just, like, bed sitting in my box.
you know, I, I basically right. got him with the judge let a lot of stuff in to the case. And he did that because he didn't want them to appeal. You know, right. you, get it. you know, the, the harder the judge rules, I guess there's more repellent issues that can come up. Like if that guy, uh, Hank, you know, Hank Hankerson or whatever, you know, I guess the harder the judge rules on issues that are in the trial, the more likely there is to have a repellent issue. Here the judge is in the favor of the defendant. Likely there's that appellate. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I do. So, my general feeling, this is just my feeling, I'm not a lawyer, but my feeling is that he ruled, you know, if anything, he gave us the benefit of the doubt because he didn't want there to be an appellate. Yeah. Is that what Sandy thinks? Well, I mean, he, he made that comment to me that he, he like, he, the judge ruled in our favor a number of times. You know, he let him bring stuff in. And I, I either said it or I heard it that he meant it, that there's not going to be, uh, you know, let things uh, say that we're done wrong. I mean, you have to either say that the, the judge did something, but then it gives you your, your due process. You know, if the jury didn't do anything improper, anything improper, like, what's your reason for wanting to do trial? 